Are you addicted to all things potato? So am I. I have a potato french fry, potato chip, baked potato, all, all the things. Yes, I'm going to actually give in to the craving and create something new. Let me show you how my mind is working with the ingredients. <laughs> Okay, we are winging it this go around. I got my air fryer for the baked potatoes, a small crock pot because I have chicken tenders, some sea salt. I just, I haven't been using iodized salt lately. Black pepper, some butter, garlic powder, fennel powder, mushroom gravy, cayenne pepper, ground paprika, parsley flakes, and chopped chives. You just truly don't know <laughs> with me when I get into this creative mode. So what I'm going to do first is I am going to cube up and season the chicken tenders. And then I'm going to, I forgot to add some chicken broth in the ingredient listing. So I'm going to add some of that. But you know how I roll anyway. We're going to eyeball it, see if it looks good, smells good, test on the way, taste test on the way, and see what needs more of or less of, diluted, more butter. We're just an eyeball type of chef over here, okay? So I encourage people to do that too because I rather someone add more things than add too much and then the whole thing get ruined. So. We go step by step and maybe even multiple rounds of seasoning, okay? At least two, at least. We're going to just have fun with this. We're gonna vibe out. It's gonna be smelling good in here. And then hopefully the final product tastes good. Because again, with me and my potato, we have a union, okay? It's matrimony. Let's get it. After a change of clothes and some self-care later, let me show you what the chicken looks like currently and then we're going to incorporate the gravy.
we're gonna let that simmer in low incorporate the gravy with the chicken let them marry and then in about probably 15 minutes or so I'm gonna preheat the air fryer and prep the potatoes now mind you with prepping potatoes just basic concepts when all forms you want to salt it and oil it basic concept so what i'm going to be using is a extra virgin olive oil and some sea salt this combo here really makes a good potato and i'm excited about it it's happening we're doing it we're giving in i do gotta get better though because i have a problem but hey i'm doing it for y'all we're gonna try this out should i put cheese in it too i'm just being extra okay but should i though Got some gouda cheese. Cause it's like, it's giving a loaded potato feel. But do I want to really open this right now? I'm not going to do it this time. I don't think you'll see at the final plating, but any type of yellow cheese may be good with it. Keep that in mind. y'all of course i tasted like them separately yeah but together 
Mm, stuff like this makes me nervous because like literally I was at work thinking about stuff that I had here already because I didn't want to buy anything additional with recipes I've been looking up. So here goes nothing. So what the pie looks like. Got the potato and the chicken. First, you can't go wrong with a potato anyway. Mm hmm Especially with this fall-like temperature, too. It's comforting, but not like, it doesn't feel heavy either, so. Really good. I did that, Loki. Mm hmm Try this, see what you think. Let me go demolish this. I'll say 9 out of 10. For sure. <laughs>